Good day, tubes. How's she going? So it's a quarter past earlier than Frigg out here, and uh, it's dark and stiff. It's about uh, 6.45 a.m., something like that. And I uh, figured today is going to be the last Bill's T-Max video every day, so I'm going to give you a freaking good one. We're going to go with a bit of a bang. So, uh, you know, because these my myons or morons, whatever you call them, are saying that today or tomorrow is the last... Uh, mm, sorry, it's too early. Oh, tomorrow's the last day. And the earth is going to end or some crap like that. So I think the morons are being a little bit morons, but, or myons, whatever you call them. But uh, anyways... Uh, we're going to try to do a super long and nice video today, if this is going to be the last one, and uh, like I say, we're probably going to go out with a bang. So uh, anyways, uh, just before we head her down to the summer down there garage, wow, I got to uh, just go downstairs and check some emails and check on the Minecraft server, make sure she's all up and still good and everything, and <coughs> clear my throat a bit. Ah! And uh, then we'll get down and uh, go figure something out to do down there. So, but uh, anyways... Uh, probably be light by the time I get out again but uh, I'll likely uh, wait until the kiddies kind of go to school and then head down so it'll be bright by then it'll be about 8.30 by then so but anyways uh, here we go Okay, too, so we're just going to have some cafe, try to wake ourselves up a bit more, and uh, we're going to head down and uh, probably work on that disc for right now, and uh, see what else we can get into. Well, we're heading down to the garage. Still got really cold out today. It's really cold now out here. Everything's all frozen up again. All frozen up. Everything was like spring there. All mushy and gooey there for the last few days, so. Oh, man, it's cold out here. Holy crap, I don't know if I'm going to be working outside or not. Oh, anyways, we'll get that uh, one set of diskies back together there, and then, uh, oh man, it'd be nice if that thing was inside. <laughs> oh well, we'll get her together there, and, and uh, see if we can get her mounted back on the rest of the machine there. <laughs> anyways, let's get her in the garage. All right, so we got her up on the bench here, and we're gonna have to tear it all apart, I guess, because of the broken one I left down there for some dumb reason. Anyways, that we can do. Thing. I'm pretty 
sure we got her. Yeah, it feels tight. Um, so I don't know if I should maybe thread lock or that. Stay. Stay. Let me see if I can thread lock her. Fred Locker. Okay. And I guess before we get to doing them too crazy here, we should get a impact gun with that size of Dewey on it. So one sec, two. So let me get that set up so uh, we can crank this sucker on here. Okay, we're good. And we're gonna put a bit of this uh, thread locker stuff on. And this is permanent strength red thread locker. Boy. I don't take this off again, I'll be screwed. <laughs> Next I have to heat this stuff up to get her off again, but we're uh, not going to need to. I was hoping that this uh, locking big nut thing here is going to hold onto the, the dewy on the inside there. I don't know. It's going to start spinning, I don't know. But let's see what we can do here. Threads to all rot up and go gooey and mucky and mushy and stuff, right? So well, that should be good. She feels solid. Oh, I'll say. But uh, it'll look right to me for some reason, but I think it'll be fine. And uh, these deweys here should uh, mush right on okay, hopefully. It's going to be a bit floppy on that one, but I don't think it's going to be any worse on the other side. It's actually better on the other side. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a packer full of grease. But uh, I forgot I can't put this thing right back on yet. i got to fix some bolts that hold the uh, those big brackets that hold it to the to the dewy first. Remember, they were uh, kind of rottened out and kind of floppy and crappy. So I'm going to have to get my torch out. And uh, it's in this other side garage here. And... Uh, Taker, uh, we'll look at the wear on that. Eh? Look at the wear. See the wear down there? Holy man. That's uh, that's not so good, but uh, oh well. What do you do? But uh, yeah, I gotta have to uh, cut those bolts off there and um, throw on some new ones and tighten her up, I think. That's uh, probably gonna be done. So, anyways, uh, let me get my torch and stuff out of there and get her ready, and we'll go cut some bolts off. Okay, so this one here, we're gonna cut them bolts off and uh, uh, fire in some new ones there. It's pretty floppy. The other one's not bad. Just this one's a bit uh, kiboshed. So, uh, lighter. 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 Whoa, Nelly. Okay, I think we're good. interesting. Huh, never seen that before. Wow. Let's try that again. Very interesting.
Holy! Can't see nothing now. Oh. Well, we got some new hardware here, and we're gonna try to slap this all back together. Hopefully, I want the bolts to go this way, and uh, put a big mother washer there, and maybe a bit smaller mother washer there, and that's maybe not gonna work. Oh yeah, it should work. Okay, stay there. I got uh, a couple of lock. Lock washers too, I want to stab on this thing. So, oh, it's still pretty warm here. I don't really want to cook my, my hand too good, so. Come on, baby. Oh, for cornflakes. You'd have to do that, wouldn't you? Okay, I can't work too well with gloves on either. <laughs> but it's a little bit, uh, chilly out here in the fingies. So, and that's warm there too, actually. <laughs> All right, and we'll do the same dewy here because, oh crap, oh I did put one there. Whew. Oh crap, I'm short of washer. Oh look, there just happens to be one on the ground. Isn't that perfect? Okay, should be all right. This actually should have a new bracket made here because it's all worn out and it's worn right through, you know, so. But for now, she'll work for all I'm gonna use her, I think. A little bit longer bolts than I need, and I do have some shorter ones inside, but actually, like not. Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing here? No, that's right. I say I threw a longer one in there, but I don't think I did. And I'm just gonna not snug these right tight yet until I get the other dewy on because I might need it to kind of flex and move a wee bit kind of thing. So I'll get these uh, fairly tight. Oh, I see I've got two, two, another bracket I'm going through here. That's why this one's so much shorter. That makes sense. Okay, I think that'll do for now until we can get the other doomahickey out here. Uh, so let's go get her. Okay, we're all geared up, ready to rock. I didn't pre-grease the things, but I'm just gonna pour it to it after with uh, the greaser gun thing, and uh, we'll do her that way, I guess. And then that other one, I just gonna grease it, I guess. I'm not gonna bother taking it apart because it looked like it's so spinning fine. It was seized up, but I don't know, whatever. We'll just change the fittings in it and then just grease the frick out of her too, I guess. So anyways, let's see if we can get this sucker back on here. Oh, we're so close, tubes. Okay, that side's good. bolts we're using too, right? So, okay, we'll throw on a washer, a lock washer. And I dropped the net. So tight, we can stay right there. Okay. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I can't do that with gloves on. Um, this one, however, is a little trickier to get into. But I think we did her. Sweet. Okay. Here. So I can maybe try.
riding this out today, but now it's all frozen up again. Can't win. Oh well. Wrong time of year now, so I'll have to wait till springish. Well, some of these dudes are really wore out. The uh <laughs> Holy cow, she's got a lot of miles I guess to put on her. Okay, we'll just crank these down and then we'll go grab the greaser. Okay, so we got the greaser out here and we got her on volume. Hopefully she's gonna pump something here because it's pretty darn cold. <laughs> Should have left her inside I guess. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, it says I'm too cold. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not going to work too well. See, I'm pumping her, but barely anything's coming out, eh? So it's just too cold to get her to siphon up through. But uh, well, we'll leave her inside, I guess, and get her get her grease later. Well, another task I wanted to do today as well is I forgot to paint this uh, plow up last time we had her out in the field there, and it's gotten kind of rusty on me now. So I just got some uh, what you call it stuff and. Uh, we're just going to scuff her up a bit, I guess, and try to get a bit of the rusties off. And uh, then we're going to paint this camouflage paint on it. That's about all I got right now. I guess I got John Deere Green on, don't I? <gasps> I do. That's what we're going to use. So we're not going to use this. Uh, but anyways, let's get uh, scrubbing this up here, and uh, we'll uh, get some paint on her. Keep her from rusting. But uh, this this uh, plow shear here was the first thing to start rusting. That was kind of weird. But uh, we just got to get her kind of cleaned off and uh, because if you don't, when you start plowing with her next time, it'll hit this and it'll all stick to it and it'll just keep gobbing up to a great big mud mess, you know. So you got to try to keep these things uh, pretty darn clean. It's coming off pretty good, so, you know, that's, that's pretty good there, I would say. And uh, we'll get some John Deere green and uh, lay her on there after, so... Not too bad up here yet, but uh, down here on the shear is pretty bad. Still got a bit of frozen dirt on it here too, but uh, we'll have to let it come off after, I guess. But uh, amazing how rusty stuff will get, how fast it'll go too, eh? But uh, that's the way she works, I guess. It's actually making it worse there right now because it's wet too, right? So I might have to do that thing after. Let's get these uh, mold boards the best we can. Look at how rough it is there, though, eh? That should be all smooth, just like that. But it's all rough and pitted and from being rusty for, for years before, you know? So, anyways, I'll keep working at this, and we're ready to spray. We'll flick her on and spray. All right, so that uh, second plow shear in there, this one was being kind of a pain, and uh, it's all frozen and crappy there, so I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, the other one seems okay. This had some crap froze to it, you know. I probably shouldn't be painting this yet because it's still cold and stuff, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. I'm not too fussy on that, so. Because it's not got dust on it still, you know. And the paint won't stick too well, so. Ah, close enough. Okay, let's John Deere Green a Ford plow. Oh, it needs more shaking. Whoa. Okay. Green Ford plow should be red, I guess, but not this time. I guess it would have been all red at one time. Red or green, maybe. I just do enough so I just basically can't see the spots of the metal behind there, you know. I'm just getting pretty close here and there. And moving on this one, I'm sort of setting up. Got that this one first, so I'm gonna say. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Sounds like a helicopter outside or something. Yeah. I've 
already done the underside of the landslide there, so they're good enough for now. Sometimes you can use grease on these too, but I don't really have grease to throw away like that. You know, like a big vat of grease or something. That's looking pretty good. warmer I guess before you go ahead and paint her but I think that'll work. Bring the nozzle out. Throw the cap on. We're good to go. We'll let her dry. Well that's about all I got planned for today tubes. There's not much else really happening so uh, I got one more thing for you so go up the top of the hill and show you so let's go. Okay, Tube, so this is the last Bell's T-Max video ever, so I promise you we're going out with a bang. We're freaking going out with a bang. Well, we still got a safe. <laughs> she didn't blow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we're gonna be in trouble now. Uh-oh. Well, we got her back inside here, and I guess the thingy inside must have screwed up or something. But I'm going to try, uh, I got these things off, and uh, I don't think I can get her off like that yet. It doesn't look like it. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm going to do now. This thing's screwed now, or... <laughs> I really wanted to get inside. That thing won't release for me, though. Uh-oh. What am I going to do now, tubes? Let me mess around here so I can get into her. Well... Mess around, mess around to no avail, tubes. I can't freaking get into her now. That little thing inside is screwed up or something. And I got this off and the front plate off. This thing unscrewed. But you can see the wire that I shoved in there to... to no, you can't see it. See the wire I shoved in there is just flat with the thing now. So that's not doing nothing. But uh, I can't shove that back in there now like that to make it work. Because it's just the right size hole that it's going to end up shoving the wire back in again. So, like what I need to do is, it's got to turn that inside thing, right? So this is supposed to have a key thing in there, and it goes in the key, and then it just, like that. So, the only thing I can think of doing is cleaning up these threads real good, and blast some stuff in there, clean those threads up real good, blow it out with air, and then uh, put on some of this lock thread stuff. We'll thread it in, let it dry, harden up, and then it should lock those threads onto the ones inside, and I should be able to lock her. And uh, if not, then, I don't know, plasma cutter maybe, I don't know, but uh, let's do that maybe. We'll clean up them threads and they're pretty messy. And uh, just use some brake cleaner here. 
Uh, that one should work. And I uh, would have squirt a bit through here. Like that. And uh, get these suckers here too. Dirty, eh? Holy. And we'll get our air gun out here. And uh, we'll give these a blast and then give them some, uh, some thread locker. Well, we're good. I'm going to leave a bit of gap there so it's because if you go right tight, it's uh, tight, right? So I'm going to leave a bit there like that maybe and that'll give me enough to swing it either way. I don't, it's not a whole lot. It's got to go. So, But the problem is you got to wait for this stuff to set and I can't remember how long. It probably takes a couple of good hours. I can't read that freaking small rating. So we're going to have to leave our tubes if we got another day. Tomorrow we're not dead, then uh, we'll uh, see if this will work. I'm going to open this up and I want to see the remnants inside. But I guess that's it, Tubes. Uh, that's it for today. So I wanted to say to you, it's been a real pleasure doing all this entertainment for you. And I'm sure glad you have you've watched and stuff. And, uh, you know, if the world ends tomorrow, then we've had a good time at her. And uh, if it doesn't, then we'll freaking get back at her again, you know. But uh, my guess is, is, is nothing's going to happen. Does anything ever happen? No. But anyways, um, yeah, so thanks for watching all this, all these videos and stuff and, you know, keeping me going at doing stuff and, and all that kind of good stuff and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So, and uh, thanks for all the subscriptions and sending me all the cool mail and all the cool stuff and uh, all that cool stuff. So, anyways, twos, I guess that's all I was just to say. That's it. So, you guys have a good one. Uh, hopefully we don't all die tomorrow. And... Uh, we're all good to go for our day for Friday. So, uh, anyways, you guys have a good one, and uh, I don't want to know if I'm gonna say we'll see you next time, or we'll see you tomorrow, or we'll see you when we see you. How's that? See you when we see you. Anyways, take care, tubes. Friggin' right, I got a package in the mail from Adam DeSuter. I hope that's how you guys pronounce it. Anyways, thanks, buddy. We got her just before the world ends. Friggin' right.